For the past 100 years, modern medicine has been dependent on antibiotics to help fight bacterial diseases. But what happens when bacteria evolves to the point where antibiotics are no longer effective? Today, over 2 million Americans suffer from antibiotic-resistant bacteria, and close to 700,000 people die annually from them. By 2050, that number is estimated to jump to 10 million. Joining me in the studio today is CTO Dr. Neve Bachnoff and Dr. Moshe cohen cut the CEO of Omnix Medical. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you very much. All right, so let's begin. Why do people become <coughs> resistant to antibiotics? I know that seems like a simple question, but break it down for those of us who don't know much about the science. Okay, so, so um, the widespread use of antibiotics has led to the uh, uh, development of, of resistant bacterial strains. These bacteria are no longer susceptible to the conventional antibiotics that are used in clinics uh, today and in hospitals. Uh, the reason for that is the strategy in, uh, uh, that, that is employed uh, uh, when developing antibiotics or conventional antibiotics. And the reason for that is because antibiotics uh, target a very specific process which is vital to the bacteria. And by inhibiting this process, we manage to kill the bacteria. But the bacteria have a very rapid uh, evolution and they overcome this inhibition very easily. So in other words, we need to start creating new antibiotics exactly. for people to be able to stay well. Now, why are these bacteria resistant antibiotics so dangerous? I mean, that's a kind of basic question. But because when somebody is ill and there is nothing you can do to, to, um, to, help, them. to help them, so it's, it's highly dangerous. Think about it. If somebody is suffering from pneumonia, if we don't give him antibiotics, mm -hmm. he will die. And if, we give me, if, if he gets a superbug that does not um, have any treatment, have any treatment, he will eventually die. Right. So yeah, I mean, this is a, a serious issue. and dangerous um, problem that we have to, to deal with now in the 21st now, uh, century. Now, how is your company working to stop this issue and why have there been no major pharmaceutical companies that have been tackling this problem? Uh, well, well uh, it, it's very interesting, but uh, there hasn't been a new class of antibiotics in the past 30 years. We have not seen any new antibiotic in the past 30 years. And the reason for that is that all the major pharmaceutical companies believed that we've got this covered. There's no problem with bugs. There's no problem with bacteria. We can kill them for the rest of, uh, of uh, time. But the bacteria are very, very smart and very resilient. And they found a solution to each one of the antibiotics that we use today. And uh, uh, until five or 10 years ago, pharmaceutical companies would not invest any money in developing new kinds of antibiotics. Well, this has changed because even the big uh, players and the strategic players and everybody with the money are realizing now that if we don't take a new strategy to killing uh, uh, resistant bacteria, we will soon be back to the pre-antibiotic area where a simple cut or a simple infection can, can, can lead to death. Well, wow, it's really scary. So what have you guys done to tackle this issue? So we found out that insects have been killing bacteria for over than 250 million years using very special molecules that are part of their innate, innate immune system. And what we did is just we mimicked them. So we said, OK, this is what the nature is doing. Why don't we do it? And we took these molecules and we and made an adaptation for them to be suitable for, for therapeutic use. And this is exactly what we are doing now. We are developing new molecules or with an, and a new class of antibiotics against resistant bacteria based on what nature is doing. Beautiful. Yeah, ju just imagine, because bacteria have been fighting bacteria, insects have been fighting bacteria for millions of years, and th they are doing it very well, because otherwise we would not have butterflies or flies today or insects, because the bacteria would have killed them all long ago. But they found a solution, and they are doing something very good, because they manage to kill all the bacteria that they come in contact with. Well, we, we looked at them and we asked ourselves, what are they doing that uh, uh, we, c we can use for, for, for our therapeutic uh, uh, applications? And it, it had uh, uh, some, some, some uh, modifications had to be made, but we took a technology that has been working for millions of years and we made it uh, possible to be uh, 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 used in, 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 uh, in therapeutic world Beautiful. today. Have What's you ever seen a fly with pneumonia? 
No, I, I guess I haven't. I, there you go. Well, it seems like you guys have truly created uh, something that's going to help the world. And this is a huge, scary issue. Thinking about it is so overwhelming, but uh, we know who to turn to for help, right? Yes. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you very much.